Have you ever looked at something like a meme of some sort and the caption says something along the lines of that's some white people shit. There is a rapper who basically embodies the idea of this meme. This guy tries so hard to play the victim. It is absolutely appalling. And actually, it's downright sad. So who am I talking about? Well, it is a person who I had had the pleasure of not knowing up until a couple days ago. His name is Tom McDonald. He's a white rapper who completely lacks any sense of self-awareness. This guy has a track record of saying all this bullcrap about our society and thinking that he's right while completely missing the point entirely claiming that he's not racist while saying the most racist things. And on top of that, he's a turf. Just, just one line I can pick out of this new song of his basically just solidifies him as a turf. You might be thinking, maybe it's a conversation. That's what I was thinking too. Maybe it's a conversation. We're supposed to prop up these ideas, harmful ideas, saying what the idea is and then picking it apart. Except when you actually go and look at the lyrics, <laughs> He does not do that. He acts like he's exposing America and all of its societal problems, but all he's really doing is showing just how truly ignorant he is. The country is broken because their minds stay closed, but their mouths stay open. What do you think he's doing? He is just spouting off all these harmful ideas based on harmful misinformation and stating it as objectionable fact. He's not keeping an open mind to the arguments that are being presented against him, and he's basically using this discord in our society to become his linchpin in inserting himself into a conversation he doesn't belong in. Blame racists for the racism, but only if their skin is white? Is he delusional? We're blaming the system, perpetuating racist ideals even though they probably still do exist and there's still day-to-day -day racist interactions, in the grand scheme of things, they amount to very little. What we're talking about are racist laws and a system that enforces racist ideals without actually saying out loud what they're really thinking. And we don't want to build a wall now the border is weak. What the heck is up with this? You realize that people can come from foreign lands without crossing an actual physical wall, right? A lot of our illegal immigrants are just people whose visas have expired and they're just stuck in the US. He keeps perpetuating this racist idea that people are coming into our territory and invading. It's just absolutely ridiculous. This is just, this is not even an argument. You want to equate an actor wanting privacy when they're constantly hounded down by paparazzi and media. You want to equate someone wanting personal peace and privacy in their home to other people trying to live their life and then facing racism whenever they're being forced to go back home, but they really want to stay here and earn a living. There's so many problems and we haven't even got through the first freaking verse. If a white man paints his face black, he's a racist piece of garbage. Uh, is that news? Why would you paint your face black? There's no reason to do that. Because like he's saying it's racist to do blackface, but apparently it's a double standard if you say that trans people are okay. This is what he's saying. He's, he's equating blackface to trans people. If you put a man in a dress, he's courageous or and he's gorgeous. How are people defending this man? He's equating racism to being trans. That's not okay. That is a false equivalence. We haven't even got through the first freaking verse and there's already a false equivalence. Oh, racism is not okay, but being trans is? This is a bunch of bullshit. My guy, to treat trans people with respect and to also treat black people with respect, that is not a double standard. 
you're treating two marginalized people with respect. This guy is showing his ignorance every single line and it compounds upon itself. Then he gets so close, so close. We're going to skip the rest of this because there's a lot of stuff to unpack here with those last two lines. There's just a lot of stuff to unpack and I don't want to be here forever. He gets so close. Make a system where 85% of black people fill the prison. I'm not good at math, but it seems like it's division. It's referring to the fact that maybe perhaps our system is racist and unfairly targets black people and criminalizes them. It's very close, except there's one teensy tiny little problem. With broader context from the start of the verse to that point, he's basically calling out Black Lives Matter and calling the efforts of that movement farcical to basically play victim. He is essentially saying that Black Lives Matter is being used on purpose to create racial conflict. My God. It's like, how can you be so close to the point and still miss it? Elections getting rigged, rights get infringed. Absolutely. But then, then take the syringe, frighten your kids. It's not even talking about the things that are being rigged or the rights that are actually being infringed. It's talking about the vaccine mandates. He's just spouting out the same bullshit, super right-leaning narrative about how all our rights are being taken away because of a pandemic that isn't even a political issue. It's a national, worldwide health crisis. This guy is turning something that's not even political into politics, just like every other politician out there. They're turning something that's not political, which is health and safety, into politics. Yes, our political leaders are kind of like the bad guys right now. They're, they're making really tough decisions that probably aren't being communicated the best way for one there's a lot of really bad communication with the pandemic and with the virus and everything but you know what didn't help our previous president pretending that the darn thing didn't even exist and that it wasn't even a problem in the first place and then hundreds of thousands of people died and now hundreds of thousands of people are still dying because the virus has been allowed to mutate and jump from person to person infected person to infected person we keep talking about natural immunity versus vaccination, but the people who don't understand that vaccination, being vaccinated, and natural immunity are pretty much the same are kind of missing the point of what the vaccine is supposed to do. They say the vaccines don't work, but natural immunity does, but if they don't believe in the vaccines, then they don't really believe in natural immunity. Now, do they? There's just a lot of logical leaps that are being made in our society today that don't make a lot of sense because they don't trust something that's being shoved in their face. And that's kind of, that's predictable. And I feel like our government should account for these sort of pushbacks, but instead of accounting for them and doing what they can to ease people's minds and be upfront and honest about what's going on and give the correct information, and put people's minds at ease, they try to force it on everyone, and that does not work. Yes, I would like more people to be vaccinated, but the government is fooling itself if it believes that people who were already resistant to getting vaccinated in the first place are going to like a mandate that basically forces them to get vaccinated or they lose their job even though there's you know testing and stuff too that they can do as a substitute but huh, guess what tests and stuff are kind of hard to find now for some reason there's a lot to unpack there there's just there's so much to unpack he's, he's just propping up all these false narratives in this song and it's just it's so much to digest because it just it takes so long to basically pick apart this three minute or five minute song and tell people exactly what's wrong with it and why. It's not me being reactionary and saying, oh my God, he's a racist piece of trash. It's actually looking at this in its full context, understanding our cultural perspective of the things that are going on right now and understanding the things that he is referring to and basically saying, 
That's bullshit. He doesn't understand what he's talking about. And the proof is right here in front of you. Rights get infringed, but then he starts talking about vaccine mandates. And then everyone blames white folks for every little thing. My God. He wants to try so hard to be the victim. Being white is hard. He's pointing out problems in our society, but then completely misses the point entirely. There is absolutely zero nuance in this song. Anyone who defends him is not going to find enough nuance to properly put him in a good light. It's all going to be jumping through logical hoops in order to come to a conclusion that does not exist. Everyone blames white folks for every little bitty thing. No, that is incorrect. We blame white people in power who unfairly prop up white supremacy with their policies for the things that they are doing that affect marginalized people and people of lower social class and wealth. That includes white people, by the way. When we, we don't have no one to blame, we take responsibility. No. Bullshit. Absolutely, you should take responsibility for your action. Like this guy right here is trying so hard to be the victim, but all of his problems, I swear, are self-generated. There are a lot of problems. And for someone who's mentioning that we have a lot of problems, he seems to be under the idea that even though we have all these problems, personal responsibility is enough to take away all of our burdens, when that is an absolute lie. They tell you to be a man, then call it toxic masculinity. My god. If I were to tell someone who is crying to be a man, that is a show of toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity is the act of equating sensitive traits as more feminine and therefore bad. Like, toxic masculinity is not saying that masculinity is a problem. Masculinity is fine. Embracing your masculinity is fine. Enjoying things like sports and cars and bodybuilding, those things are all fine. As long as you're not harming someone else, it's fine. But going out of your way to invalidate someone's feelings or invalidate someone's identity because they aren't man enough is toxic masculinity and it is a problem. Then when you act feminine, they call it white fragility. No, 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 no. What? That is completely off base. Acting feminine has nothing to do with why people use the term white fragility. White fragility is when a white person whines about how hard it is to be white in a society that punishes people for being racist. Like, yeah, um, it's 2022. At some point, you have to be made aware in your adult life that being racist isn't good. And when you get called out for it, and you act like a baby about it, that's white fragility, man. Also, pointing out systematic problems that affect marginalized people, and then whining about people pointing out those problems, is also white fragility. It has nothing to do with acting feminine. This guy is completely off base with everything. If I disagree, you try to cancel, get rid of me. Dude, you have a large following. You have a name that is attributed to fame. Are you really canceled? Cancel culture is just this idea that conservatives like to throw around so that they can seem like the underdog. And everyone loves a good underdog story. They use cancel culture as marketing for themselves so that they can seem like they're a story of rising up against the whatever. No, you're not canceled. And complaining about being canceled is just another part of that white fragility thing that you mentioned up above and falsely equated with acting feminine, which um, probably makes you sexist too. I hate white supremacy just as much as you. My guy, if you hated white supremacy just as much as us, you would not be making a song, an entire song, about how woke people 
are problematic and how Black Lives Matter is problematic and how, well, actually white people aren't racist. You would not be making songs that miss the point so many times entirely the way that you do if you actually hated white supremacy. If you really hated white supremacy, you would shut up and listen to marginalized groups and then use your platform to amplify their voices, not speak for them, and you are not doing that. You are not amplifying their stories. You are not passing the mic off to them. You are speaking on behalf of your own inflated ego and your white fragility so that you can look like the victim, so that people can pity you and pay money to feel validated in their own white fragility so that when they listen to their song, feel self-righteous in your attempt to at least look at the world objectively. This song is way off base, multiple times, several times. He misses the point entirely. People right now are listening to this song and reacting to it on YouTube and going, hmm, yeah, maybe he got a point. But no, he really doesn't. Everything that he's saying is farcical nonsense, propped up by a base of absolute lies. The points that he's trying to make are false equivalents, non-existent, and just outright wrong. This guy is absolute trash. Summary? He's racist, he's a turf, and he's probably sexist too, because he doesn't understand what toxic masculinity is. He doesn't understand what the actual systematic problems are. He's too involved with making himself look like the victim. He's throwing himself a pity party in this song. And yes, oh my god, the fact that he depicts himself in a straitjacket is him glamorizing the idea that he's right, but because he's right and he's saying correct things, we, as society, view him as insane, and therefore he needs to be locked up for everyone else's safety, including his own. The truth is, while he's romanticizing himself as the only sane person, he's just spreading a whole bunch of misinformation. His song is more or less not even a good part of the conversation. His song is bullshit, his lyrics are bullshit, his ideology is bullshit. He's just spouting off a whole bunch of lies and making money off of it. He's not as much of a victim as he would like to make you believe. He has power, he has money, and no matter how many negative things I have to say about him, he will never truly be canceled. The only thing we can do is understand what it is that he's saying, know from context how absolutely bullshit what he's saying is, and then move on with our lives and inform other people what his bullshit is. Because if the past four years haven't taught us anything, being defensive about collective racism is not the solution to the problem. And he's only continuing to sell this narrative that we're being too focused on racism so that we can actually ignore the problems that are being faced by marginalized people from a system that benefits people like him and me. We can't ignore the problem. There is something to say about being too involved and not seeing the forest for the trees, but my god, our guy here has missed the mark one too many times for anything that he says to be anything near valid. But so long as we know what the problems are, we can still do something about it. By informing people the truth, combating these lies, this misinformation with good information that's based on people's actual stories. Listen to people's stories. All right, I'm done with my rant. Obviously, if you've made it this far, you know my opinion about him. I don't like him or his message, and I think it's being conveyed in a way that is uh, perpetuating some harmful lies. I don't know what else to say. If you 
have more on the issue that you'd like to bring to the light and inform me on, let me know in the comments, because I'm sure there's a gold mine of information about this guy I haven't even touched yet. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Remember, fight bad information with good information. If anyone perpetuates the absolute ludicrous lies from this music video and they reference how much of a visionary this guy is or something like that, call her bullshit and just tell them how much their arguments don't make sense. And if you're not in a position where you're able to do that, at the very least, know for yourself that what they're saying is an absolute lie, and if they're trying to influence a friend of yours or something like that, take them aside later, and then call it the bullshit. So, I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs>